Today I got a bunch of fitness drills that I want you to try, but before we get into these drills, I want to talk to you a little bit about fitness. So a lot of us have these negative emotions, these negative feelings around doing fitness. But the truth is, if you want to get fit, you need to change the way that you look at doing fitness. If I always look at fitness like, ah, oh, it's something I don't want to do, I hate this, it's going to suck, this is no fun, why do we have to do this? Then you're never going to get better. You're never going to get fitter because you're always looking at it negatively. If you can learn to change the way you look at fitness, start wanting to do fitness, enjoying fitness, and that might seem crazy to you today, but if you think about what you really want to achieve in this game, if you want to become that player you've been talking about, that player you've been dreaming about, then this is something that you need to change. You need to look at hard work positively. You need to look at hard work like something you want to do. And maybe if you don't want to do it, you must understand that it's something that you have to do and that you're willing to do to get what you want at the end of the day, okay? So I want you to just take a look. Who is out here? with me right now. Who the hell is out here? I don't see anybody. Okay, it's just me. It's just me out here in a field with a friggin' camera, running laps, doing sprints, doing agility drills, okay? Where is everyone? I don't see anybody. I'm here by myself, okay? So if you wanna get better, you wanna get fitter, you wanna get these results, you wanna become that player that you wanna be, then you have to learn to put in that work by yourself when no one else is around. You need to push yourself when no one else is around. You don't need your friends to go to the field. You don't need your teammates to run a practice, okay? If you want results, you have to put in the work. So change the way you look at fitness. Every day, every time you get out to that field, you're gonna do at least a little bit of fitness. Now I'm gonna show you a bunch of drills. I'm not gonna tell you do 10 repetitions or do three sets of this with two minutes of rest. You need to take these drills and you need to challenge yourself. So maybe the first day you just take one drill. You take one drill and you do it one time. If that pushes you, that's good. If it doesn't push you, you need to do a bit more. The next time you come out, you might do two drills. You might do three sets of those two drills, okay? It's about you looking at where you're at today, what can I handle, and pushing yourself past that point that you think you can handle, okay? If you want results, you have to do what's hard. If you do what's easy, you're gonna be the same player. If you wanna get better, you wanna get fitter, then you have to do more. You have to push yourself out of that comfort zone. Okay, so that's enough talk. Let's get into these drills. Remember, if you wanna get better at fitness, change the way you look at it, enjoy it. Realize that, okay, I wanna be this player, I have to put in this work. It's gonna make me better, I wanna get it done. And if you just have that attitude, that alone is gonna make doing these sprints, doing those fitness, those stamina drills, a lot easier. So let's get into it.
So when you're tired, I don't want you to stop. I want you to tell yourself, I'm gonna go until I'm done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. The last one I always like to end with, it's starting to rain now. It's no excuse, you get it in. No excuses, but the last one I always like to do is I'm gonna get to that net, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna go for that forward run, then I'm gonna track back on defense. Go all out, don't save anything, because now you're done. Okay, put in the work, and you're gonna become a better player. Let's go.